relationship? Yes, I planned the child with him and everything because I felt bad, you know, about how. No, no, I'm just trying to understand. Mm -hmm. Both of the children you have from him? Oh, no, I had a child after I left him. Okay, so you were together with him from age 20, what, from what to what? From age 20 to 30, I guess. 30, and you're how old, 32? Yeah. So you had a child with him and then a child after him? Yes. It was, the child after him was like a revenge thing. I was okay. upset. Yeah. Okay, right. And I had a child by his cousin. Oh, Jesus. So your ultimate question is what? My question is, I'm trying not to be salty towards like all men. And I'm trying why to- should you, Why should you be salty? I mean, ma'am, no disrespect, but what you just said is you told a story where you were a young woman dealing with a man who had you and for 10 years, you were fucking around. He cheats one time. No, no, balance. not the whole 10 years. Not the doesn't whole matter. Time. It doesn't matter. 10 years, three years, five years, you were cheating a lot. Yeah. He I cheats was. one time, then you decide to get salty and leave. And as then you leave, and then on the way out, you screw his cousin and have a baby with him. Well, it's not and, like his blood. And, and I'm just getting the story right, man. Yeah. And, yeah. and, now you're trying to figure out how not to get salty with men. That's basically what you said. Well, yeah, I, I don't think I explained it right, but I don't, I don't. Okay, like the facts are right. The facts are right. The facts are right. Yeah. Okay, then why should you even be in a relationship with anybody? I guess that's what I'm trying to figure out. I need to just work on myself right now, maybe. Well, I mean, do you have a son or a daughter? My son is 11 and my daughter okay, so is if your So if your son came in and said, hey, mom, you know the woman I've been with for 10 years? Yeah. You know, the, you know the mother of my child? Yeah. She been cheating on me for four or five years in the relationship and I just took it. it was not then that I, I, don't, I did just, and then one time I slipped and cheated on her, she decided to leave me and took my kid with me. Yeah. And then, uh, and then on the way out the door, she fucked my cousin and got pregnant by him. I feel like if he didn't want to stay with me in the midst of the cheating, he should have left me. Man, you know, he stayed you know with what? me with the impression uh, well, no, well, okay. Where, Where's your father at? My father is still with my mom. They're still married. Mm -hmm. And how many siblings do you have? I have two sisters and one brother. Mm -hmm. uh, Ma'am, the way you describe this, you're a horrible person. I'm working on it. No, you're not. Because yes, you're still making no, no, no. You're still making excuses on this call. You said that if he didn't want to, if he didn't want to stay with, with me after cheating, he should have left. You have absolutely no accountability. You fucked around on this man, and you're saying that instead of him cheating around on you, he should have left you because you were cheating. Yeah, I feel like he made me feel under the impression that we were going to. He didn't able make to you fun. feel shit. You are in charge of your own feelings. See, that's what I mean. You're a grown woman sitting here lacking any accountability, blaming somebody else, and understand something. No, I want to take accountability. Ma'am, you know you have it. No, no, okay, okay. Well, the first way you take accountability is stop making excuses. What you did was absolutely horrible. You screwed his cousin? I don't care how young you were. I don't care. You weren't young. See, this is what I mean. This is what I mean right here. I said, stop making excuses and look at what you do. Okay. You turn around and say, I was young. You weren't young. You, your, 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 your youngest is two. Of all the dicks in the world, why would you have to go to his cousin? Well, his cousin was actually the one who introduced us. I knew the cousin first, so. They didn't answer my question. Yeah. No, I want to answer to my question. The pregnancy wasn't planned, you know, it just. What happened. was my question? Why did I have to go to his cousin? I don't know. I can't answer that. I don't know. Because you knew it would hurt him. I guess. You guess? But I, it wasn't perfect. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, man, like, stay right here. Stay right here. 
He cheated on you one time and you decided to leave and take the child. And on the way out of the door, you had sex with his cousin. Out of the, out of the millions of penises in the world, you chose his cousin. After we broke up. We were broken up after the cousin happened. Modern women, y'all. This is a woman talking about taking accountability. I am taking accountability, Kevin. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not, man. No, you're not. You haven't said it with the least bit of remorse. And I said, if after y'all broke up, why'd you have to screw his cousin? Because we haven't even got to the bigger part. Why'd you have to screw his cousin and have his baby? I did try. I mean, I'm not going to get into the full details of the pregnancy, but it happened, you know. It happened. No, ma'am, you happened. You happened. You happen. You chose this. You chose to go try to hurt this man. But here's the thing. Why am I being so harsh? Because you're, you're somebody's mother. You broke up a family and you made a baby out of spite. I said it three, five minutes ago. You're a horrible person. No, that baby was not out of spite. Like that baby was really an accident. It was not a planned pregnancy. Or no, the fuck was out of spite. Well, I wasn't thinking about him at the time. We were broken up, so. So, you weren't thinking about him at the time, so the fact that it was his cousin didn't enter into the equation at all. No, I mean, they're not blood cousins. You know, they just grew up together. But like I said, I knew him first, so I didn't really think I was doing anything bad at the time. But now when I'm looking back at it, that's why I'm, you know, trying to get some advice on the situation. You have no character, man. And, and I need you to, and, and as I'm keep twisting the knife is because I'm trying to get through to you. Everything I ask you, you deflect, you minimize, you make an excuse for. Women like you, people like you don't need to be dealing with people. You're dangerous. Now, the man that you left is your son's father, right? Yes. You wrecked your son's family. It's all about you. Are you familiar with what a narcissist is? Yes. But I'm not trying to be a narcissist anymore. I'm trying to change. No, no, no. You don't, you don't, no, you don't just stop. You don't, no, 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 no. That's not something you can do just yourself. It's like you, if you're dead serious, which I'm going to use this whether you're serious or not, you need to stop dealing with all men. And you need intensive psychotherapy. You're a mother. Put your I, vagina, I, 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 put, I, I, your, I, I, put your vagina on lock. Prioritize your children and your mental state. I've been through a lot of trauma not to get... Through. I don't give a shit. And I really don't like... I don't care about your trauma. See, I always bring up the trauma when, they, when, they, when you can't coddle her ass. No, what I'm saying is that but I you don't... Have been through a lot of trauma. Get the kids to their fathers and go, and go somewhere. I know, get but... It give them, give them, give your daughter to, give your daughter to, give your, give your, give, 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 give your daughter to the cousin, give your, why you keep stroking that thing? It ain't yours. It doesn't matter. I can stroke it. You can stroke it. You can pet it. You can set that shit on fire. You, what it is, it's a, it's a nervous tick. See, so someone's well, calling you out. Well, somebody's calling your fucking ass out and now you're showing who you really are. So like I was saying, I don't like men and I don't have respect for them. I think that's the problem. I don't give a shit. We don't respect you. Give your daughter to their cousin, your son to the father, and go do whatever the hell you do. Who cares if you like men? Men would prefer you to go away. 
Nobody needs to deal with this shit. I wish that were true. No, go give your kids up. Buy a dog, die alone. You ain't got to deal with nobody. And the world will be a better place. I try not to deal with people, trust me. But you still are over two kids. Well, you know, I can't help my kids. They came along the way, so. Yeah, you, yeah you're right. You can't help your kids. You can't, because you can't help yourself. Why you keep petting this shit? It's like, I don't know why you have this like, it's like a nervous habit. Like, I'm gonna just keep petting it. This is the first time I've been on somebody's live, so I'm gonna pet it just to make sure my hair looks good. Regardless. That's not your hair. That's not your hair. You can't stop the petting, so. It's not your hair. It's not your hair. It's a nervous, it's a, it's a nervous tell. See, see, and guys, you don't seem to understand it. She's, she's reacting to somebody finally showing her mirror to herself. That's what she's doing. Women like this normally run, but she realized she has to do something right now. She's stuck between being on Instagram live in front of people, not knowing how to react, and really wanting help. Uh -huh, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I don't know nothing. Exactly. Except like reality. Except Thanks. reality. Except reality. I am. You're a horrible person. Horrible person. To my critics and detractors, this is what men have to deal with. It's not daddy issues. That's a narcissist. That woman is an outright narcissist. And if you understand anything about a narcissist, they lack empathy. She has no concern for anybody else. That's why I'm like, fuck it. You can, me yelling at her was like a whisper. She don't care. She's so into herself. She can't feel anything else. And the fact of the matter is she has two kids. So hopefully the men that decided to in, impregnate her will take their children because narcissists can't take care of anybody. But not, look up narcissistic personality disorder. I got trauma. Oh, that excuse won't work. Oh, I hate, I don't like men. It's all men's fault. This is what this pandering, not a pander bear. This is what that pandering society has done. Let women like her run amok, reproduce. You you were with a man for 10 years and cheated on him incessantly. He cheats one time. You say, fuck it, I'm going to break up the family. I'm going to take your son and all the way out the door. I'm going to fuck your cousin and make a baby with him. Woo! If the world were, if the world were right, I ain't going to say what, I ain't going to say what should happen that one. Go read the Scarlet Letter. Go read this. If you never, if you don't have a classical education, go read the Scarlet Letter. And a woman committed adultery, and in the scarlet letter, in some versions, she had to walk around with a dress with a big scarlet letter that's A for adultery emblazoned on it. But in some of the more uh, provocative versions of the story, she actually had the scarlet letter A emblazoned on her head from a tattoo. See, if people like her had to wear their, their deeds on them, they wouldn't do that shit. Because then they let everybody know, uh-oh, 